Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We're at Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store in Tampa, Florida, looking for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to pack up for resale on YouTube Live Sales. Those are every Saturday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hit that notification bell, click all, make sure that bell turns white so you're notified of these video uploads as well as my live buy it now and auctions and giveaways that I have. Thumbs up for the video, subscribe to my channel. This place is cash only. They usually have great purses. I come in here about once a week. I don't like to come in here every day because I don't feel like they flip their inventory that quick. I don't look at the clothing even though they have lots of it. I'm sure I'm missing out on some good stuff there. So today we walk right into this beautiful Patricia Nash 10th anniversary edition. I swear that the people that get rid of their purses don't even use them. Perfect condition. I think we probably have no choice but to get this one. Got your Dooney here. Beautiful Vera Bradley. I like the solid color. We're not going to get this one though, but I like it. I don't know if this one's real or not. Great condition, but I'm no expert. Check out the inside. Don't see any serial numbers, date codes. Y'all let me know in the comments if you think this is real. This has got to be one of the greatest wallets. Hand embroidered or machine embroidered. This is a fun one. We're going to have to think about this one for sure. If you see anything you think I picked up, email me. I'll shoot your price quote. I'll shoot your price quote if I pecked it up. I don't pick up everything I see. Sometimes I pass on things. But you never know. Never know. I like the way this wallet looks. I've seen that brand before. Good condition. This is a really nice Remy one too. You get your cash slot, lots of credit card slots positive quote it's not leather though this is a nice wallet here all leather good stitching here's your branding what do y'all think about this one handcrafted oh Rosetti she comes in all different shapes and sizes Put their high-end clothing up front. On one small rack. Put your pajamas. Steampunk hairpin.
looks like an old brooch right there. seeing any new purses on the back wall not seeing any new purses on the back wall that's why I don't come in every week or once a week I do come in every week remember when y'all used to collect these little trinkety things like this I think this is a cool trinket box it's just cardboard though but it's pretty nice I don't know if I'll get this one or not So cute. And I'm liking these a lot. Another Norman Rockwell. But look at this. I like this one. That's a very cool plate right there. I like them a lot, but I like this one the most. You've got some innocent people. I like these are marked. So they're pretty cool. I think they might be real hair. Not certain on that. It's kind of looking like it. What do y'all think? Is that made with real hair or not? Are they worth it? What are we looking for over here? Vintage couch. Vintage couch. I'm telling you, I know. Or anything we can flip for a profit. Anthropology. 
spot those vintage coaches in Malloy. What is this? Genuine leather made in Roots, Canada. Or it is called Roots. Have you ever heard of this one before? And every time I'm here, I go to the other red, white, and blue as well. Got to hit both of them if you're going to be here. They're Bradley, solid. This is a nice crossbody. Here she is again, imitating leather at $3.99. This right here is kind of a cutesy crossbody bag. Look at this one, y'all. I have no idea about it, but I like that. Print right there on the front of it. It's so cute and little. Charles and Keith. I think something's broken, though, on that. We don't want it if it's broken, do we? Betsy Johnson. I'd get this if the handles weren't messed up. The handles are messed up. Disney piece. Who is this? Franco Sordo. stuff looks like leather oxblood color a little bitty handbag MC this one's called bouffants and broken hearts it's pretty cute not gonna get it though I don't think it's leather this is a cute piece but I think something leaked for sure not sure if that can be clean and not sure if this is an older version or not I can't know do y'all think that can be cleaned up This looks like a very cool backpack, and I'm hoping it's leather. Handmade in London, or by, handmade by something London. Not sure what it says. I like it, it's slim. Slim. Perfect condition. Nice handle. We may need to get it. I just really like all the unusual, unusual bags that you don't see people carrying. Same with the jewelry that I sell. Try to find something different. And my Jeep runneth over for sure. What's this one right here? You know, I was talking about getting a beta fish, and I'd need a fish bowl. I think I found it, but the only problem getting a beta fish is that who would feed it when we're gone somewhere? Look at this. Wouldn't this make the best fish bowl? This thing's like a foot tall. It's about two feet tall. It's really good condition, though. Look at that.
but as tall as it is, I'd be afraid I'd knock it over for sure. But that is that would make a fun fishbowl. What do y'all know about this? This is a cool coffee mug. I love this guy so much. Look at this one, y'all. I'm going to get this one. I don't have any more room for coffee mugs, but look at this. I'm trying very hard right now not to connect with people. shot glasses I don't usually come on this side but I saw these items here so I kind of wanted to take a look at these I know nothing about the value of these if anything Iron pots, that's a good deal on that $24. It doesn't tell me who the manufacturer is. Alright, y'all, getting out of here. Found a few things. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. We'll see y'all at the next sale or next video. Bye.